Good day, world. Good day, Zimbabwe. My name is Jessica Nguanda Nube, and I'm an SRHR defender, but currently a call center advisor. So I'm here with you today to commemorate the World Health Day. Um, it's a day that was set aside to celebrate the global health awareness uh, and celebrated on the 7th of April of each and every year. So what could that mean to you and I? Well, with the running theme, Health for All, it might mean that on this day, we get to zero in on the milestones. It's an opportunity for the world to introspect on the milestones that were made in the past decades and the opportunities that may be there arising from the challenges that we face as a globe and as a nation, Zimbabwe. Um, looking at the milestones that we've done in the past, I mean, we are not turning a blind eye to most of the milestones that we've done. Think of the introduction of or the establishment of antibiotics. Look at the establishment of vaccines. All those were in the route to improve the quality of human life on Earth. And we do commemorate and celebrate that. But coming down to those challenges that need the whole globe to hold hands to together and put in active and action interventions to face the challenges. We're looking at the theme, it says health for all. In that regard, it means that as a nation, Zimbabwe, and as the globe, um, there should be a period in time where we are able to make sure that health is accessible to every individual who is an inhabitant of the world and especially um, the Zimbabwean citizenry. And looking at the health um, on, on the term health, we're looking at a personal state of a human being in many aspects, speak of socially, speak of psychologically, speak of environmentally. And I would like us to zero in our minds on the social aspect of everything and the psychological aspect of everything. We are saying we're supposed to to access health services to each and every individual in Zimbabwe and in the globe looking at the youth. I'm here today to start a conversation that needs to be, well, that's well overdue, looking at how society and our culture is built up in Zimbabwe. Well, I'd like to speak to you, Mara, who is looking at me. I'd like to speak to the father looking at me, the grandmother that is looking at me and watching me today, our elders that are watching us, our community gatekeepers, and most importantly, our leaders. We need to sit down and speak of the elements that build to the social um, fibers of our community as Zimbabwe or as the society. It's no longer working. A great person once said, it's okay to change your mind once you receive new information or you receive a new set of data. Well, it means we need to zero down and really think of how our culture as a society or as Zimbabwe is impacting the youth and their health in regards to sexual and reproductive health. The conversation that we deem as taboo can no longer be deemed as taboo, especially when we have detrimental effects of those things. Speak of um, the uh, SRH diseases or viruses that are coming of this um, we are not supposed to talk about this look at how the life of a girl child is being ruined at the end of the day not just the girl child look at the little boy's mental health or the old man's mental health just because of those cultural precepts that you're not supposed to do this you're not supposed to do that we're not supposed to be talking about this it's no longer working so today I'm starting a conversation with Zimbabwe that let's come down um, to the drawing board and really talk about those little elements that make up the social fibers of Zimbabwe and we make sure that health is accessible to everyone and every individual so that we're able to curb every social ill that is coming of the old ways that we used to have because at the end of the day we are trying to um, make sure that everyone accesses health services as they should. <laughs>